another ChatGPT video. This one is about another DLC that I want to see in this Universal 9. Again, it's just concept. It's not real. Um, maybe one day we'll see it, but it's not something that is confirmed or anything, so don't take it seriously. Um, this one, I asked uh, TPD, I want the DLC about deceased. It's a zombie-like uh, storyline in the comics. Um, the TV overview. The deceased DLC plunges players into a grim reality where the world has been ravaged by a devastating anti-life equation plague, turning their heroes and villains alike into mindless undead creatures. Um, players must navigate the dist dystopian DC universe, joining the fight against the corrupted and striving to save what remains of humanity. This DLC introduces a harrowing new storyline, intense new missions, and a host of dark new features and rewards. So that also sounds like a DLC you could get again in around um, Halloween. Storyline. In an alternate reality, a malevolent force known as the Anti-Life Equation has been unleashed. Infecting nearly every living being with the terrible plague that turns them into ruthless zombie-like creatures. This plague has overrun the world, corrupting even the mightiest heroes and villains. As the remnants of humanity fight for survival, players must join forces with the remaining untainted heroes and lead the charge against this apocalyptic threat. The story unfolds as players uncover the urgency of the anti-life equation, battle against corrupted versions of beloved DC characters, and work to prevent the complete annihilation of the human race. New missions. There we go. The fall of Metropolis. Metropolis has become grand zero from the anti-life equations outbreak. Players will team up with survivors such as Lois Lane and Jimmy Olsen to fend off infected citizens and rescue trapped civilians. Explore the city's devastated areas and secure key locations to ensure the survival of the remaining heroes. Okay, so this sounds like open world missions, like that you go there and talk, go to Metropolis and you talk to you know, Stan and Jimmy and you get missions and you start uh, saving the city, do your job. <laughs> uh, so this sounds like the open world to me. Gotham Descends. Gotham City is overrun by undead versions of the Dark Knight Rogues Gallery. Join forces with Batman and Oracle. I thought he died in the comics. Sorry for the spoilers, but he died in the story. <laughs> and maybe it's just the beginning. Uh, an Oracle to push back the hordes of corrupted villains and locate a cure that may help reverse the infection. So that sounds either like a duo or a lot. I'd say a duo. Makes more sense for a duo. The Anti Life Invasion. A sinister. I'm hearing uh, the game. I have DC open in the background. <laughs> the Anti-Life Invasion, a sinister faction, has taken advantage of the chaos, attempting to seize control and amidst ruin. Players must first the plans and deal with corrupted versions of major heroes like Wonder Woman and Aquaman. These missions involve battling through hordes of infected and dealing with powerful corrupted adversaries. I think it's either an alert or raid. It sounds more like a raid because you're already finding big heroes so and to me it sounds uh, like yeah, like a ray it doesn't sound like an alert um the last hub in in Fellery, there are a remnants of justice league headquarters to retrieve critical data and artifacts that could help find a cure the mission culminate in a high stakes raid against the final corrupted heroes i would say it will be good to see superman at this point uh, and a desperate confrontation with the twisted, infected versions of the League's leader. It sounds like Batman. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that will be the final raid. Features and gameplay. Corrupted heroes and villains. Uh, face off against horrific versions of DC heroes and villains such as Corrupted Superman. We have a Corrupted Superman. No, we don't. We have um, Superboy. Uh, zombie Joker, okay, and why do they all have different names? And infected Green Lantern. Each crafted character has unique abilities and presents a significant challenge. I'd say call them zombies, all of them, because corrupted is already the name of the Black Lantern. So you could do, you could do infected. Infected makes more sense. So infected Green Lantern, infected Joker, infected Superman. Each corrupted character has unique abilities and presents a significant challenge. I would see Superman in a raid and Green Lantern could be a bounty, same for Joker. 
I like survivors for characters like the Canary, Constantine, and Raven. Oh, Raven again, okay. Who offers unique support and abilities to combat the plague, okay. So again, it's not giving me actual allies. Like, it knows allies exist, it just doesn't know what it is. <laughs> uh, new abilities and gear, plague abilities. Oh. Unlock a new ability that reflects the grim nature of the, of the DLC, including anti and dead weapons. Okay. Plague resistance. So, okay, so. When it comes to weapons, probably just what they look like. Um, plague resistance. Okay, so that's not like a trinket or something that protects you. Uh, and because I think the thing they could do is if you say too long the alpha word, for example, um, without the trinket or on or using the trinket, uh, you could get infected. Uh, so you will have to use a trinket to break out or something like that. That's something like really cool thing. They keep you on edge all the time in the open world. And of course, the trinket can be uh, protecting your character for a few hours. So. And you could like get it as a gift as soon as you start the DLC. And specialized buffs to go contract the anti-life equation. Okay, that makes no sense. Uh, post apocalypse gear. Acquired gear inspired by the devastated world of disease featuring rock survival themed armor and weapons with dark dystopian aesthetics. Um, so that sounds really cool. Uh, but again, I don't think there's actual unique designs to this story, but they're probably something that devs could find if they ever pick up this story for the game. Special events and challenges, it always goes there. Survival challenges, participate in limited time events and challenges where players must survive waves of corrupted enemies or complete special objective to earn exclusive rewards. Okay, I wouldn't mind that. Not something we have, and unless it's like a survival mode version uh, with the deceased versions of heroes. Until I've invasions. Okay, so continue what I talked about in the DC vs. Vampires videos. Invasions could be um, certain open worlds get taken over at a certain time during the DLC uh, and overrun by NPCs related to this as well as bounties, and then um, it takes over the city for a short time. So there's like, you're not going to see the regular NPCs, you're going to see the anti live NPCs. Experience random events where players must defend against sudden large scale undead invasions in various parts of the game world. So, what I mean. A new base? I love you, ChatGPD. Got a safe haven, a base location, a new base design with post apocalyptic theme. I like that. I like this a lot. Um, reflecting the randomness of civilization and midas devastation. This base offers unique customization options and survival themed amenities. I love that. JTVT started with the recent video talk about bases. I love you for that. <laughs> New feats and achievements. Accomplishment. Earn achievements tied to the sea storyline, such as surviving key missions. Uh, okay, so basically, feats, defeating corrupted heroes and completing the final raids. Conclusion, the deceased DLC delivers a dark and intense narrative immersing players in a world overrun by apocalypse plague. With new allies, enemies, and challenges, this DLC offers a unique and gripping experience in the DC Universe Online, pushing players to fight for the survival of what remains and confront the dark aspects of their beloved heroes and villains. So that's a deceased DLC. Uh, by ChatGPT. Again, it's just concept. Every video I do with ChatGPT is just concept. It's not real. It's not going to happen unless the devs actually do something uh, like pick the story for a future DLC, but I don't think it will be based on that. I don't think they will watch it or take inspiration from that. So it's just for fun. Like, a what if, what could be if we got this DLC? So thank you guys for joining me. Let me know in the comments below if there's specific stories you would like to see in this universe online i try to put them into chat gpd and uh yeah i'll see you in the next one bye, -bye.